Hi everybody, I'm Willow Grace, and today I want to talk to you about room clearing. I've got some incense burning, and I want to talk about energy, what it does to us, and what we can do to like clear it out and move it out and move in positive energy that's around us. I love my incense, so I'm a firm believer in my nag champa, absolutely love it, although uh, there's all kinds of different smells out there. I think you should find the one that works best with you. I also, huge believer and lover of Paleo Santo. Not sure if you've ever tried this, but oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I absolutely love it and works amazing, works wonders. Uh, I do have white sage. I grow my own sage and lavender and mugwort and I make my own uh, smudge bundles and uh, wrap them and bless them before I use them. But any of these, you use, you burn them and you waft the energy around, going around to all the corners of your house, the closets, the rooms, everything starting from the bottom, working your way out and, and ushering that energy out. Along with smells, I also use sound. Sound is huge. That can be anything from a small bell, tingshaws. Oh, I love these. Bought these at Lilydale, my favorite. Oh, I can feel it throughout my body. Um, tingshaws, if you get a chance, try those. Uh, bowls come in a multitude of sizes and sounds. absolutely love this vibrates through my body through my being clears uh, aligns my chakras and clears everything for me I have a friend who does uh, singing bowls if you're interested comment down below hopefully you subscribe comment down below and I will definitely put you in touch with her these are amazing if you get a chance try these I love crystals selenite is good for when i use right when i do reiki i use my selenite to clear like the energy that's around me and when i do tarot i keep a couple of my darker stones my uh those these absorb the energy and that's a lot of times what you want to ground someone or to absorb the negative energy i have a friend that i bought this from this is amazing. It's a selenite wand with all the seven chakras. If you're interested in this, I can put you in touch with her. Make sure you comment down below. I love this. Uh, this, it feels amazing. I'll lay it on you, it's amazing. So the, another salt. You can never have enough salt. You can use salt in your doorways, salt in your windows, uh, sprinkle salt absorbs and you can uh, use it for just about anything to clear out there is black salt i have some of that should have brought that over so i could have also shown you that uh, but this any kind of salt doesn't have to be pink or there's so many types of salt plants i always try to keep a few live plants around the area that i'm working um, winter is a little bit harder i do take some other places with me where I work and oils. I make a spray like a room spray. I put a few of these in there. If you cannot handle the smoke, which I totally get, not everybody can handle the smoke, nor can they handle the smoke from this or anything else. So they're left with sound and if they want it to be quiet, you can use oils. You can use a sage oil. You can mix it with, um, okay. I like the lighter scents but um, like citrusy, but there's other people who uh, want different smells. I always uh, put a little bit of sage and lavender in it, but you choose you and I put it in a spray bottle. That way I can take it anywhere. And when I uh, feel the need, I can give myself a little spray front and back. And then I feel like at least my energy is cleared and the energy that, of the room that I'm working in can be cleared out. So just a few of the things to move energy, clear energy, work in a clean working space that you feel energized. 
hopefully you found something that you connect to with this and hopefully you give me a subscribe and if you have any comments please comment down below find me on facebook instagram or my webpage, and i hope to connect up with you i hurt you Thank you.